Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com. Hello, my name is Nicole, and I'm here to show you how to set up your EX7S. First, let's start with the saddle. You wanna make sure that your saddle is as high as your hip bones. To adjust, you turn the lever counterclockwise to loosen, raise your saddle, and then tighten by turning the lever clockwise. Now let's talk about depth. Your saddle and your handlebars both move forward and back. For the optimal depth, you measure from your elbow to your fingertips, then tighten both knobs. Next, your handlebar height. First, place one foot on the base of the bike, loosen the lever counterclockwise, raise your handlebars. You wanna make sure that your handlebars are as high as your saddle. Now tighten clockwise. If you have any sort of lower back issues, raise your handlebars a smidge higher. All right guys, let's get clipped in. On the EX7S, you have option for regular tennis shoes or SPD compatible shoes. If using regular tennis shoes, slip your foot into the toe cage, making sure your toe does not hit the top of the cage, pull the strap, and weave through the loop to tighten. SPD compatible shoes are a great option to keep your foot from sliding forward and backward in the pedal. To attach your SPD clip to your pedal, simply slide the SPD clip into the groove of the pedal until you hear a click. To release your cleats, press down on the emergency brake to stop your pedals. Now rotate your heel away from the bike to release. Now let's talk about form and position. Do not worry if you do not remember all these positions, you can always mirror the instructor during class. We'll start with first position. Take your hands to the center of the handlebars. You're back in your saddle, your core is engaged, your shoulder blades squeezed together and your spine lengthened. Perfect. Slight bend in your elbows. Second position. Take your hands out to the edge of the handlebars. Second position can either be in the saddle or out of the saddle. If you are out of the saddle, increase your resistance. You do that by turning your resistance knob to the right. To decrease, you turn to the left. Now, to stand out the saddle, you wanna make sure that you have enough resistance to hold your body weight. Add the power, now pop up out of the saddle. Great, this is second position. When you're in second position or standing, make sure that your body weight is back over the pedals, slight bend in the elbows. Perfect. Third position, take your hands out to the edge of the handlebars, still keeping your hips and body back over the pedals, slight bend in your elbows. Third position is very challenging, especially for beginners, so take it at your own pace and listen to your body. All right, let's have a seat. Take down your resistance by turning your knob to the left, and I'll see you on the leaderboard. The EX7S is equipped with an Ethernet cable for a wired internet connection. If you do not want to use Bluetooth connectivity with your bike, you also have the option to connect through a USB cable through the ECHL port for a wired connection. Flip your screen 180 degrees to enjoy a FitPass class off your bike. Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com.